Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So big achievements, we got to Mars and I've also put down a quarry down there. So let's just see how that's doing. Maybe it's night time, I don't know. Well, actually I don't see any Mars stuff coming in here. Let's have a look what we've got in the system for Mars. Well, it's definitely working, I just saw that go up. So we've got lots of cobblestone, lots of subsurface rock and lots of surface rock. I just hope they actually, yes, I just seek up again. So it is definitely working. I was worried it wasn't because I just happened to put the quarry on a boundary of its chunk. And with the solar panel was on the other side of the chunk, so the solar panel wasn't working. And I've been back to Mars and put a chicken chunk loader there. So that should be okay now. So let's have a look. Next quest. This one. Seeds of love. Sowing the seeds of love. Seeds of love? Oh, sorry, I really but need to delete that strange data cluster in the antique... with the antique music. Anyways, you could make some seeds. I have a feeling we'll need lots of them. So we're going to need lots of seeds. Okay. Now, seeds we can get in a good way. Now, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this Mars stuff again. Let's take a stack of each of these. Because one I missed her. Let's have a look at for the uses of this. I hope that we... I don't have to reload the recipes. So this one makes the um, aluminium hyphos phosphate. And this one here we can actually sieve and we will get nether quartz seeds and certis quartz seeds. Which is great. So that's subsurface rock. And for surface rock, let's have a look what the uses of that one are. Of course, we get this gallium arsenide, which is very good for stuff. And we also get fluic seeds, if we sieve that. And then the last one will be um, rock uh, cobblestone, which basically we get uh, products. I can't remember what they are. Um, butane and isopropene or something like that. So let's come in here now and change this input filter here so import bus uh, export bus so then we've got moon turf and moon rock in here let's just put it into this some subsurface rock and let's sieve a bit of this what i want to do is put the other ones of these away let's, where should we put them in here i think like that We'll swap those two over, so we do the subsurface rock. And we've actually got some moon rock in here and probably some moon turf, if I'm not mistaken. Moon dirt, moon turf. So we can always replace the ones we've taken out at any time. Yeah, it's just finishing off those and now it's going to start sieving rock. And you just see there's a few seeds coming through, some lapis lazuli and some hydrogen. Fantastic, so what we can add it can do as the other thing I want to do with these, oops, I can't get through the door, is we need to basically make, you see we've got four seeds already. Try seed, there we go. So we've got six other quartz and four certis quartz. So with those after a short while, period of time, we should get our 64 of each. And I think that's probably the best way to do this at the moment. Um, let's go and have a look downstairs I think I would like to set up some more egg I know what we're gonna do no what I need to do is to set up some more stuff where have I put all my uh, applied energy stick stuff I think it might be some of it's in here no um, I know where it is it's in the chest here oh yes that's a good idea let's move this out chest out of the way by the way I think what I'm going to do with this chest is I'm going to put it on the roof where the other place was. So if I dig it up, where the other chest? Because I have a chest. When we, we respawn, we respawn at the top here. So it seems like a sensible idea to put, to put it down here somewhere. Try again. Oop. <laughs> well, would you believe it? I press shift. Let's just do that again. Oh, 
Let's go up. Let's stand on top of these. Oh, it's night time as well. Okay. Let's stand over here and put the chest down over here. I have to press shift on it to be able to close it up. And as you can see, there's a few mobs around. And there is definitely a portal, a nether portal. Why is a nether portal there? That is most strange. And it's open. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's just have a quick sleep and go and investigate that. In fact, I think I might even have to do a backup before I go there because I don't think that it's possible in this pack to get to the nether. So let's go and have a look. The wrong way. I shall ignore the skeletons. I don't care about them at the moment. And there's a creeper. Don't know what I'm affecting. him. Like that. So I've got a nasty feeling before I do this, I'm going to go and get into this portal. I should really turn off the quarry, shouldn't we? So let's just press escape here and save the game. Okay, what I should do is bring a, bring something with me. Let's do it, do it risk anyway, see if it actually does anything. I've got, ah, it's not working. Isn't that weird though? <laughs> so we have another another portal that we can't actually go through isn't that funny okay good i'm wondering if those have got somehow related to the waystones i have no idea Gosh, I can hear the quarry beating its way down. Look at the speed of that thing. Oh, there's a zombie. We should ignore them for the time being. Don't care. Right. So, that was a little bit of a, a sideline. I do apologise for that, but uh, it did make me curious. So, up we go. So, now we also want to... Let's go and check those seeds again, because we've been outside got 15 seeds so, so that's going to not quite ready yet and um, what we also need to do is to make some we also want to sieve some stuff so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make we need some basically a th we need to decompose no we need a magna crucible if I can see it which of course is that's a compressor from industrial craft. Ah, this is the uh, the incorrect recipes. So let's press escape. Because I know that the compressor is a lot harder than that empty reload. Did I, did I type that wrong? Empty reload. Right, script reload. Let's have a look at this again. See, the compressor recipe is a lot harder because these are very hard, I think. Aluminium hulls, blocks of aluminium and five uh, logic processors. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the Magna Crucible. Where is it? It's not that difficult to see, I'm sure. Oh. It would help if I typed it right, wouldn't it? Magma, not magna. There we go. So we just basically need, uh, hopefully we can actually get one of these things. A machine frame, yes we can, good. I have to wait for the basic machine frame, which should be the next one. Basic, yes. Tin gear, four iron and two glass. So let's do that first of all. Let's have a look for tin. Yeah, we've got plenty of tin. Need two tin gears. Iron. We've got twenty. We need we need four for each one. Take this 
to tin gears. And glass was the other one, wasn't it? So we need four of those. So let's go and make two of these. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose these. Now I'm going to magnet do a magnet crucible, then I'm going to use fluid transposer, and I reckon I'm going to need the same stuff again for those. So let's get those working. And the fluid transposer, because basically I need to convert it back into into bottles so we can actually use the bottle uh, the tubes. So then we need a fluid transposer. This one. Oh, so that's fairly straightforward. Ten, ten, and some redstone reception coils. So, so let's get some iron again. Oh, I'm actually a bit short of iron in here, but it's no big deal. I've got plenty. Um, red gold. Actually, we can take these. We need twenty of those. So we'll just take half. Um, gold. I need basically just two ingots and four redstone. And we need some iron. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I was setting iron off in here. Yes, I am. Look at that. Got plenty of iron coming in here. Is that still working? Yes, it is. Oh, it's already finished those two machine frames. That's uh, pretty good. So we need... I'll put that... Oh, that, that, and that. We need some red, redstone reception coils. That should make two. And then we should be able to put those reception cords down here with the machine frames. And we should be able to make a so metal former. Can't see because of this is in the way. A cyclic assembler, fluid transposer, this one here. So we'll make two of those. We were left with five blocks. And then we need some more stuff for the magma crucible, don't we? So magma crucible, let's get that right. this one. So what we do need? Invar gears and some nether bricks. Okay, uh, and a leadstone energy cell. Can we do that? Just glass and lead ingots? Yes we can. One, two. Let's put those away. Invar gears, I'm sure. One, two. We can do that too. Fantastic. And then we should be able to make these nether bricks, nether bricks. So we need some um, redstone. Uh, let's get some redstone. Let's just take half a stack of those. Actually, we'll do. Well, now we'll do half. We'll do a full stack of redstone. We'll make nether. So what do we want for that? We need a bucket of water. Because I've got to... No, I don't just need a bucket. That's what I need. And a hopper. I think that will do. We don't need a string with us either. So what I'm basically doing down here is I'm going to add these some more processes. And we'll show you what we're going to do in a few seconds. So what did I want to get from down here? Oh, yes, this thing. Oh, I've already got them. I've already got the on from the glowstone, didn't I put that back again? I don't mind. Let's just right click the hopper, put the redstone in, that'll make another wart, which should, another rack, sorry, which should come down into here. I've got 58, 58 end stone, I must have been making end stone for some reason. That'll be 8, we need 16 of these, I think. One more. Okay, then we go and cook those and we'll make some leather bricks out of those. I think it's just, I'm not 100% sure if it's four or two. Oh, I think it's four, isn't it? So we need 32. Let's just get the rest of those. Nearly finished.
I'm not actually that much. I'm not really that too bothered about this, to be honest with you. So, um, cobble that at the moment because I've got, we're going to use the um, since we get since when we smelt. Oh, I probably need three in that case. Hmm. Three sets of one for each of the particular ores. So let's not pulverize. Let's smelt this up here to get bricks. So what I was trying to say <laughs> very badly is what we need to do is to do put them in the magna crucible these items that we've got here or the, the three different rocks from Mars and they give you all different things as we've seen before so what I basically need to do is let's go down here like that let's just give an example of what we're trying to do and I'll, I think I'll do the rest of this off camera it looks like that was full by the way because um, it stopped working until I took us away some of these things here. So if we come along here and we reuse this magnet crucible, so that basically well, that's just how do we do this? Oh, I know easiest way is just to configure it. Turn off that side as an input, and we want to turn off this side as just click it like that. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to push the stuff out on this side here. Oh, we'll get it going out at the top first of all get rid of the molten iron and then we're going to come over here we're going to bring this back into the input side here like that and what we're going to put into here is a set of of these tubes this is not finished yet I thought it had finished by now I'm going to wait for this to finish and then we can put in some of this old stuff we need to get the stuff don't we so let's go and get a stack of each of these different Mars rocks So Mars Coalstone will produce water and it produces a half a bucket of water per um, it's all done already let's have a look and that's where's it gone to oh that'll look has it gone out the top oh it'll gone out the top never mind so basically I want this to go to the right here so that'll give I think it's half a bucket of water per per rock or cobblestone and this one here we can put across here like that and that should come into here and then this is going to automatically filter the site aluminium hypophosphite and I'm not sure how much we get for one stack it's a bottle each that's right so we'll get a stack of these bot of these jars of these tubes and then the last one is going to be the Mars surface rock Got to wait for this to finish. We'll do the same with this as well. Okay, so we put that into there, and this is going to give us galleon marsonite. So you'll see this is now filling up, and it fills up at 125 per per rock. So basically, with 64, we will get 64 of these, which is a lot easier to make. And the way I was doing it before, which was basically sieving dirt, wasn't it? Or decomposing dirt. Okay, so I can let those run through. In fact, I'm hoping I want to stop it, put it, and basically I want to get it carrying on again with whatever it was doing before. So we can set that here as an input. And set that one as an output like that hopefully I don't have too much iron in here I've got a bit of iron in here just set that as an output and then that should go out should so I've got the wrong side come on off you go oh that's an export bus that just brings things into it now. Oh, the I suppose the easiest way to do that is to take one of these refractory. Have I got one in here somewhere? A refractory? No, no. 
we'll do it that way. Well, I'll do that off camera. It's not important. So you see what we get for those um, different mineral, oh, different things. I pick up those. Yes, I did. So we got gallium arsenide, water, and the selenium hypophosphate from using the, those through the um, magna crucible, which are all good stuff and what we need for doing different things. So, for example, if we look for the uses of this here. That's the fluid transposer that decomposes it. So if we use this for silicon dioxide, we get nether quartz. So again, this is two gallium arsenides, two aluminium hypophosphates, and one aluminium phosphate. So this is the one we have to make ourselves, which is fairly straightforward. Aluminium comes from aluminium, of course. P phosphate comes from that uh, phosphorus comes from glowstone, and oxygen just comes from basically everywhere. And again, we can make fluids crystals and fluids dust with the same combination as that one. So that's where it is basically two of those. In fact, that's a fluids pearl. And the only difference is you've got two gallium arsenides in there. So that's that. All right, that was hard work, wasn't I? Making a big deal of that. So I needed to make the other part of the magma crucibles, which was nether bricks, wasn't it? Can I finish off the magnet crucible now? No, nope, I need. What do we need from in here? Fluid transposers. You know, I didn't look. I'm being daft. Let's put this away here. Let's just check our seats. Oh, we've got plenty of seats now. In fact, I want to go and change those before we start into doing those. So we've got eight of each. I could let it run on a bit. Well, let's finish off this thing we're doing. So it was basically it's the, the magna crucible. So what am I missing? Another machine frame because I've used two machine frames for that one. Okay, no big deal. So let's get the let's get the tin gears out again. Another two of those. Let's get the iron ingots we've got. Oh, I think we need more than six. We need eight, don't we? And let's get some glass. Want four of those. And I think we need some more. Let me just check. Oh, that'll do that one. But yes, we need another redstone reception call. I thought we did. So let's go for redstone. And gold. Oh, that's all the ingredients we need to carry on. So, oh, oh, I think. Oh, I just put those off, haven't I? That's the fluid transposer. I don't want that one. This one I want, don't I? And the redstone reception coils. By the looks, we've got to wait because I can't see the bits we need at the moment. We don't need those in there, do we? Good. I'm not sure I've got these two frames in here. Maybe it's because I forgot to take them out. I've got two more now anyway, because I'm bound to... I need three anyway, to be honest with you. So let's make these magna crucibles now. And I don't think they need to be desperately fast. Oh, what did I lose? Frame and two invar gears, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. I've only got one, so I need some more invar. Right, okay, I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm going to do that later on. But let's have a look at these quests now. We've basically got 94 of those, so let's go and change it for the other rock that we've got in here. I'm not sure which one. Oops. I'm the, so we're doing subsurface rock at the moment. So let's just do a uh, surface rock on oh, chest. That one. 
let's come up the top here and just change this over. Remove that one. Put this back again. So that that'll finish off that stack and then start with the next one, which is good. I've got too much. I'm not sure whether I've got more more stuff on with than I really need. But let's just put the stuff away. I certainly don't need these. Oh, yes, very important. Let's have a look at this recipe for this one. Quarry, one block of gold, one block of diamonds. That's nine diamonds, and that's three. Nine three is twenty-seven tubes of carbon nanotubes makes that what else? let's have a look at and let's have a look at the uses of this thing now oops try getting on it and pressing you you'll see here every time I am getting where's where has it gone to carbon nanotubes here 33 that means 11 basically we get f two free diamonds so anyway I'm going to go and decompose these two things because we don't need these the standard refinery and the standard quarry anymore because the other one's just as cheap to be honest with you let's get rid of let's put where's it gone to that one in there we can do the refinery as well take away the copper and the iron can we put the copper in here that's full now we can put it in here for the time being can't we in fact, I can put the galleon mass node and things down here for the space, which probably isn't. <laughs> and empty tubes. We'll leave the empty tubes up here as well. And get rid of the iron. Has that decomposed everything? Yes, it has. Let's get rid of some more of this iron because it's probably not finished yet. And tin. I don't suppose I can get rid of any of this, can I? Nope. I'm betting a little bit full. There's still two stacks of... I don't have any more space anywhere in here. What happens if I put those in there? Will they stay in there? Yes. So I'm abusing this a bit. Decomposers. So we got basically from here we've got three diamonds for the refinery. Let's do the quarry as well. We can get rid of the silicon dioxide, of course. That's what we're getting in here. Aluminium, iron, carbon. Nine nanotubes. Yeah, everything is just completely full. Silicon dioxide, silicon. And 33 nanotubes. So we've got 45 nanotubes. Let's go and put those into here. Fifteen diamonds. And that cost us let's have a look. There is some, so that's fifteen diamonds. Let's get rid of the stuff. I've still got some rubbish on me, I don't want. Cover that one and get rid of it in here. Silicon we can't, maybe we can put it in here like this. So that's a good way. I'm just thinking what else we've got in here. Titanium, lead, oxygen, aluminium, so that's fine. So let's have a look at that one more time. The quarry and the uh, refinery. So what was the recipe for the refinery? This one. No diamonds. Aha. And I got how many diamonds back again? 12. Which is 12, which is four diamonds. Wow. So I got a lot of diamonds by doing those two. Okay, that's one way to get a few extra diamonds. I shall have to report that as a potential bug. 
because you're getting more in than you put you're getting more out than you put in but it was good fun to figure it out let's just craft that off here because they stack better with in the system if they're like that so let's have a look at our seeds again oops tried it again nearly we've nearly got enough of each of these three let's just take them out we're just waiting for the rest of these now I'll put them in there then we can see how many we get to finish that next quest and I know that the next quest after that we haven't we done the plates let's have a look not that type of plate presses is what I'm looking for there's none in there that's for certain so let's go and have a look have I actually made the presses I can't remember the reason I can't remember is I did a bit of testing and, I, and when you do some testing you sometimes forget right I haven't done the presses so let's have a look what the, rest, what the recipes for presses are not on this page on this page you can't see them they're all the same anyway basically it's 30 30 blocks of iron and one ender pearl will give us one press so we need four presses so we need 120 and four ender pearls let's get those out of here and that is going to be what that's basically two stacks isn't it minus eight one two could sort this actually then we get that one two stacks minus eight will give us each one of the presses so what i'm going to do for that so i'm going to put the iron in here it's no big deal i'm not going to put one ender pearl in like that and then we shall take the engineering press here first of all it doesn't matter which order we do these in because it's very fast I tick it off make sure that's the important step put the next end the pearl in and then we'll go and do the calculation press okay tick that off put the next end the pearl in and then we're going to do the logic press tick it off and then we're doing the last end the pearl in and we can do the scrub silicon press turn that off we get our eight blocks of iron back again and in here we've got each one of the presses now obviously we're also going to have to make an inscriber to to put these into so let's have a look what we actually need for an inscriber in i can't see it oh i typed that in oh yes there it is look so we need two sticky pistons so we need slime balls and we need a flute crystal and some just some iron so the with pistons we can do easily enough slime balls we have to figure out how to do and while i'm doing that let's have a look at these the seeds again i've got 65 perfect so let's now claim that quest so as a line this one detect and we can claim our loot chest in fact what we can do with the seeds is we can put them down here let's do that anyway let's turn off our magnet needs a charge as well oops <laughs> well there we go let's not throw the magnet into the water let's get the seeds now what do I do with the seeds did they get taken on that quest let me just double check that quest consume yes so they do get taken okay let's have a look at what we got in the in the in the chest then we have got a walrus huh i have no idea what i'm going to do with a walrus extra cells too oh well now that's interesting i'm going to have to go and figure that let's put the walrus away in this chest not that you could actually get a walrus in a chest like this but there we are uh, there's no harm in trying so the other thing is that we have actually completed two quests so let's have a look at the next quest we've completed that doesn't open anything else up until we build this rocket and that's going to take a while to do just even looking at the recipe for that one i think it might be 
take flight no crystallize no elements here we go so we've got this one to do here an inscriber calculation press so we can detect that one and we can claim the loop chest again so let's look what we've got in this I hope we don't get any more walruses we get another ME fluid interface which is actually nice a nice reward <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the quest and see how we're doing with that one. I'm laughing because it's so funny. All right, this has opened up all sorts of stuff. So the next one we've got to do is stamp. And here we've got to make an advanced in three advanced inscribers. And we'll get two inscribers in return. And that's good. So let's have a look at the, again, have a look at the recipe for inscribers. And good thing I didn't make it. This is the advanced inscriber here. We get two back. And we have to make an inscriber. So we have to make some inscribers anyway. And some engineering processes. So we've actually got to make some processes before we can do anything at, to make this one. So we need to use the inscriber. Right, okay. I wonder, do we have on our system here any more of... We've got cells here, energy cells. Don't ask me why I've got these don't join up. Maybe it's one of them has been charged. What I'm looking for is here is do we have, and it looks like we haven't got it. Hmm. Okay. I was looking for a, a vibrate, uh, not a vibration chamber, the energy acceptor like this. Oh, actually, the inscribers work and don't need the energy acceptor, do they? Okay, so let's go back over here. The reason I'm going over here is actually I'm going to come out and I'm going to say goodbye because it's time again. And I've run out of oxygen, which is always a good indication it's the end of the episode. So until next time, when we shall be making some inscribers, I'll say bye for now.